Working in the yard is one way Vicki Cummings stays fit. She's always taken good care of her health. So when Vicki was diagnosed with hepatitis C, she was stunned. I wasn't shocked. It turns out she's likely had the virus since the day she was born. So she says her mom got it from a blood transfusion during a medical procedure back in the 1960s and unknowingly passed it on to her daughter during delivery. Like I said, I'm asymptomatic. But to make sure her liver's not becoming stiff from fibrosis, which can lead to irreversible cirrhosis, Vicky's had a liver biopsy. Where they go in with a needle in between your ribs. Uncomfortable and inconvenient. No falling sod on one of those days. But Vicky has also had and much prefers a new test called magnetic resonance elastography or MRE. MRE elastography is a technique for um, imaging the mechanical properties of tissue. Dr. Richard Eman invented the technology. It uses MRI and low frequency mechanical vibrations and allows doctors to see the liver in a new way. It not only shows the structure of the liver, but it also shows the stiffness of the liver tissue. Other imaging techniques can't do that. The vibrations that we apply are not uncomfortable and the risks associated with the exam would be those that would be associated with a MRI exam, which in general is a very safe procedure. Here's how it works. A piece of equipment that looks like a little drum is placed on the patient's abdomen. The vibrations move through stiff tissue and supple tissue at different rates. A computer analyzes the differences and shows what's healthy soft tissue and what's not. What the doctor sees is a color-coded image called an elastogram. The red would correspond to cirrhosis. MRE is non-invasive and it gives a picture of the entire liver, not just a sampling of one area, as is the the case with biopsies. With a needle biopsy, we're taking a tiny little thread of liver tissue and using that to represent the status of the whole liver. And you can see how if we sampled one area that was basically normal, it might not detect disease in other parts of the, of the liver. Being able to determine the status of the liver more comfortably and accurately will likely translate to more effective treatments for patients like Vicki. Her liver's still healthy. And she's grateful that MRE technology will help give doctors a more effective way to monitor her health. For Mayo Clinic News Network, I'm Vivian Williams.